Hey, what's up everybody? Landon here with LMR.com and it's Dino Day. Like every Dino Day, I feel like I always say, we got a good one for you, but we do. Uh, this is our Green Goblin. This is our 7.3 Godzilla swap box body. We finally here, we, we can finally dino the thing. And uh, we've been tinkering around with it a little bit. And uh, what we're gonna do today, uh, we're gonna dino the car as it is. So with the cold air kit hooked up, with the exhaust hooked up, and then, uh, like I say in all the other videos, you know, we like to tinker, we like to see data, we like to see where if something increases horsepower, something takes something away, the curve gains, the curve losses, so on and so forth. So we're gonna disconnect our little homemade cold air kit that we did. And uh, because this is a, I guess, big block, uh, if you must, you know, 7.3 liter, 445 cubic inches, we're gonna kind of do an old school trick and uh, disconnect the exhaust from the headers and run open headers. So uh, kind of the game plan for the video, we'll get underneath the car, talk about what it is, and then uh, we're gonna make some hits. All right, people, so uh, underneath the Godzilla here, we've already discussed a lot of this in uh, part four. If you haven't watched that one, go check it out. Shoot, go watch the whole uh, the whole series. It's, uh, it's a good one for you. But uh, underneath here, 6R80 transmission. This is out of a 2012 F-150, so there was never a true one-to-one -one in the 6R80, so we're gonna do the pull and forth, uh, which is the closest we can get uh, to one-to-one. -to -one. Uh, like I mentioned as well in the episodes, uh, we've got a steel drive shaft that uh, Hubbard had built, and then uh, we had balanced. Out back here, we have a 327 rear gear. And then uh, we're also rocking some disc brakes. And like I said before, this was a car we used for the uh, four lug rear disc prototype stuff. And we just uh, put five lug axles in it. And then uh, that's a 15 inch SVE classic drag wheel with a 15 inch Mickey Thompson tire. And I think it's a 275 50 15. We'll check real quick. Yeah, 275 50 15. And then uh, we have our modified SVE fuel system, originally designed for a Coyote, just made a real small change to the engine bay hose. And uh, speaking of fuel system, we have 93 octane fuel in the tank. And then the calibration we're running is just the one that Ollie sent us with the control pack. With us driving around the street and kind of putting a little bit of miles in the engine and stuff, uh, it does great. So uh, pretty excited to get on the dyno and uh, see what it makes. people let's go ahead and check out some numbers on the goblin i do have all three runs pulled up um, and we'll flash each one individually on screen for you uh, so so don't worry about that so kind of the, what we're calling the baseline with the cold air kit hooked up the exhaust hooked up uh, all that good stuff with the obr calibration all the whole nine yards the goblin made 409 horsepower 476.8 pound feet of torque if you want to round that up to 477 go ahead then after that run we went ahead we disconnected the cold air kit and we re-ran Numbers on that is actually some pretty impressive games. Uh, 418 horsepower, 478.6 pound-feet of torque. Uh, we can kind of start getting a little nerdy here, and you can start looking at the graph and seeing where uh, the curve starts to open up and kind of past 4,500, uh, but I would like to clear the air. You know, we're on a dyno, we have the hood up, we have a fan blowing across it, and the way that that throttle body exits kind of in a downward 45 degree fashion, you're gonna have some hot air blowing across that. Let's say, you know, if you were driving on the street, or you know, you were sitting in the uh, staging lanes at the track. So for a dyno sake, yes, it's making that power in this setting, uh, but when you get that stuff kind of in real world, uh, always keep in mind, you know, that, that stuff can change. After that, Hubbard's like, hey, what the heck, old school trick, let's uh, disconnect the three inch exhaust. And the three inch exhaust does have high flow catalytic converters and Jones full bull mufflers. So the third run, it's basically open header. So on that third run, no cold air kit, open headers. Saw a little bit drop in power, 416.5 horsepower, uh, but we did see a little bit uptick in torque, 479.7 pound-feet of torque. But again, getting a little nerdy here, uh, in the lower section of the graph, 2,500 to 3,500-ish RPM, 
uh, there's a pretty significant drop in torque here uh, with the open headers, and that is an example of uh, less, less back pressure. So you can't really utilize that scavenge effect with, with the mid pipe and the full exhaust. So this is some really good data because a lot of us think, uh, oh, we gotta omit all this stuff. You know, we gotta omit mufflers and catalytic converters and every application is a little bit different, you know, if you're making big power or whatnot. But for this application, what we have, the three inch exhaust with the high flow cats and the mufflers, uh, it's not hurting it at all. So uh, that's some pretty cool data. But anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed this one. We still have a few things planned for the Goblin, so always stay tuned. If y'all like this stuff, uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to our channel and make sure those notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss any of our future uploads. And uh, until we catch you in the next one, y'all know what to do for all things Fox Body Mustang. Keep it right here with the Real Enthusiasts, LMR.com.